tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou, kia ora tātou katoa. Ale Honourable Tauhinari. Mea tūtou e kia koutou ako rangatira tēnā koutou. Tēnā koutou e koutou haere mai i tēnei rā, mō tēnei kaupapa nō rīra, ngā mahi, ngā mahi, ngā mahi. Mr. Speaker, interestingly enough, um, across the other side of the world, or the other side of uh, the Southern Hemisphere, um, they are laying to rest, or about to lay to rest, um, a man that uh, uh, I think we all understand as the, uh, the master of forgiveness. Um, and, and we know about his long walk uh, to freedom. Um, and I suppose we could, we could say uh, that uh, what we are doing today uh, is uh, taking uh, one more step in our uh, journey to freedom, our country's journey to freedom. And today what we do is uh, just one of those small steps, but a big step uh, towards the final goal of what I think Nelson Mandela uh, was on about, and that is about um, being respectful to one another. Uh, of, each, of each other's cultures, of remembering the past, uh, but not uh, wholly forgetting uh, what a lot of people uh, have gone through. 147 years ago, sir, uh, a man was taken to the gallows uh, in, in Mount Eden, uh, ostensibly on trumped-up charges. Um, and I've read uh, the... Uh, the transcripts of, uh, of the, and the historical record uh, of this case, and uh, suffice to say, if this had been in uh, our court today, uh, it would have spent most probably uh, half an hour in the court and all charges dismissed, um, and rightly so, sir. I do want to uh, congratulate uh, the ministers uh, involved, in particular uh, Minister Sharples, who is, uh, I suppose, uh, there is a bit of serendipity that he's on the other side of the world representing New Zealand um, uh, at a uh, funeral uh, for the man uh, that we uh, have talked so much about these past few days. Um, I also want to thank my colleagues on the Select Committee because I think that what we uh, achieved uh, is, is uh, nothing short of a, uh, I, I believe, a miracle. And that is not in passing this piece of legislation, but the fact that we were able to convince the powers that be uh, that, that the, the legislation uh, be uh, in our mother tongue, in this nation's uh, only indigenous language. And for the first time, the Parliament has taken that on board. And, uh, and I think that's uh, just another huge step. And I think that the whānau of Mokomoko can be quite proud of the fact that it was their tūpuna that, uh, uh, that created uh, uh, the opportunity for us to do that. <clears throat> Mr Speaker, I won't take too long. Suffice to say that uh, whenever I drive uh, now um, down the coast to uh, my wife's area, uh, on the way down I look right and on the way back I look left. Uh, and I never did that before. And I pay my personal homage uh, when I'm driving State Highway 35 uh, to Mokomoko and to those people uh, that live there. And, and, and I think, you know, one of the things that we have to understand in this country is that there are people, such as the whānau of Mokomoko, who have suffered 147 years of shame, 147 years of being downtrodden, 147 years of being not taken uh, seriously. When, when you do that to a, a people, uh, the effects on their young people, on their old people, on all of the people uh, are huge. And I don't think we realise uh, what can happen uh, generation after generation after generation of being treated like uh, some sort of pariah. And um, 
in many countries around the world, if this was the same situation, uh, there, would, there would be hell to pay uh, for generations to come. So I, I you know, we can, we can pontificate, stand up here and pontificate how good we are, but how good are they uh, for all of what they've taken on board? Um, and, you know, this was a, these people were a thriving people, economically, culturally, in every shape and form. And because of this heinous act, Mr. Speaker, for the last 147 years, they have, uh, they, I, I think they have, uh, on one hand, suffered uh, huge consequences, but on the other hand, they have shown the spirit of Mandela. They have shown the spirit of Mokomoko that whilst uh, they have had to live with uh, the consequences of what happened 147 years, they have held their heads up high and they have said to the rest of the nation that, hey, there may have been a, uh, an injustice and what we will do is every day, every minute, every second fight for the restoration of that man's mana and that man's, uh, that man's kaupapa. So it's not only the likes of Nelson Mandela, not only the likes of Mahatma Gandhi, not only the likes of all those people around the world that get recognition for it. Because in this country, we too have our, uh, have our, our examples of the way to do it. And so I take my hat off to uh, the Fano of Mokomoko, and like I say, look right and look left when I travel State Highway 35. Kilda. Uh, the Honourable Nanaima Huta. Tēnei e tuake ki te tuku takumihi.